9th, Kayla Hegel was hit and killed on Mercury Boulevard. The driver didn't stop, and so far, no one has come forward. Tonight, 13 News Now reporter Nico Clements spoke with her mother, who hopes someone will be able to help police find who did this. And I waited there for six hours while she laid on the ground because somebody just didn't have the courage to stop. She was everybody's best friend. That's how Alicia Hegel describes her daughter, Kayla. She was definitely the nicest person you've ever met. Hegel says the last few weeks have been hard, especially with the holidays around the corner. Kayla was her only child. Someone left Kayla to die on Mercury Boulevard in Hampton last month. Police still haven't found the driver who hit her. She's just a very special person and she's not with us anymore. Officers released information about the car they believe hit Kayla it's a 2010 Red Ford Fusion. Hegel's urging the community to help her find her daughter's killer. If you saw something, just have the courage to come forward. She also wants people to speak up if they have any information about the death of 15-year-old Liz Mary Caba. She died after a white utility-style van hit her and her mother in Hampton a couple weeks after Kayla died. I just would really like to try to find some justice for both of these young ladies. Hegel says her daughter would always text her at the perfect time. Now there are no more texts, but she'll always remember that last conversation she had with her daughter. Mommy, keep your head up. You're, you're smart. You're beautiful. You're a good hairstylist, and I love you. And the thing I said back to her was, I love you. Hampton police say the car they believe hit Kayla drove off. The one that drove off has front end damage to the passenger side. It also has a black rim, likely from a spare tire or it was missing a hubcap. If you have any information, call the crime line. Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.